How many times have you been here? You're trying so hard to find something that's the perfect match for you. There's liquid, there's creams, there's powders. Oh my gosh, a hundred different shades. How in the world are you gonna find the right one? You finally find something, you get home, and this is what you end up with. Holy moly. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie Causey, and I am coming at you with tips on how to find that right foundation for you it is such a struggle i'm telling you you don't know whether to do powder liquid cream i mean come on well if you're like so frustrated and you're not quite sure where to go or how to find that right foundation for you just keep watching because i have a few tricks up my sleeve that's going to help you out We are starting with one of the first main tips, which is how to match your foundation shade. It's all about your undertones, baby. I know, it's like, what the freak is undertones? I'm about to teach you. Are you ready? When matching your foundation, it's always important to match it to your neck. So many people match to their hand. Well, guess what? Your hand is a different shade of color than your face. So you wanna make sure that you match your foundation to your neck. So I have grabbed three different shades of foundation. They're all different tones, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so the first one that I have is a little darker than my skin tone, and you can tell that it has a little more pink undertones in there. And when I blend it into my neck, you can tell it's definitely not blending in. The last one that I use you can, as I blend it in, it's almost a match, but it's just a tad bit too light. The second one, as I'm blending that in, it starts to disappear into my neck, and that is what you're wanting to look for. You want to look for where it disappears into your neck, and you cannot see it any longer, and that is a perfect shade for my skin tone. Okay, just another quick tip is, if you tend to burn easily in the sun, you may have cool or pink undertones in your skin. If you tend to tan easily in the sun, you may have yellow or warmer undertones. Now, if you tend to burn but then tan pretty easily, you could be neutral, which means you could wear either cool or warm undertones. Also, if you look at your wrist in the sunlight and you can see your veins, looking at the color of your veins can also help you identify what kind of undertones you may have. So if you notice that you have blue veins, they're mostly blue, then you have cool undertones or pink undertones. If they look green or like this bluish green, more of a green hue, then you have warm or yellow undertone. Now, if it's hard to tell and you really can't, and they're more blue, sometimes blue, sometimes green, then you may be neutral. Now, jewelry is also another way, believe it or not. If you tend to be more towards the silver tones, then you may be more of a cool or pink undertone. If you are more of a gold type of girl, then you may be warm or yellow undertone. Now, if you don't care and you tend to wear them both, then guess what, girlfriend? You are neutral. So it's so important to understand what kind of undertones or color tones you have because that's gonna help you pick out the correct foundation for you. Because if you are warm undertones or yellow undertones and you're wearing a foundation for cool undertones or pink undertones, then it's gonna to look really orange on your skin and you're not gonna like it it's also very helpful to understand what type of foundation is really good for you because if you really have oily skin then you probably want to stay away from the cream type of foundations you're the type of person that would want more of a powder or pressed powder type of foundation because that helps to absorb those oils during the day and you're gonna feel a little more comfortable now on the opposite side, if you have dry skin, 
wearing powders or pressed powders is not going to work for you because then it's going to appear a little cakey and it's going to sit inside of your crevices and your dry skin and you're not going to be liking that at all. So you're going to want more of like a liquid type of foundation or even a cream based foundation. I'm going to give you guys a little trick. So I actually wear a medium shade or a medium coverage foundation, but when you need more of a full coverage, so if you can see some of my blemishes and scars, I like a fuller coverage, but I don't like the way a full coverage feels on my face. So I like the feel of a medium coverage, but I do like to give it a fuller coverage. So I'm going to give you a trick. So when I use a concealer, it gives me a fuller cover. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I do use a very nice, professional brush and what I do is I take my medium coverage foundation and this is a liquid foundation so I only just did three drops on my brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my concealer three small drops of my concealer and because a concealer is a heavier consistency it is going to give this a full coverage and then I just blend it on my face with my brush. Now you do have to have a really good brush so that your brush doesn't soak up all of your foundation and your foundation gets on your face instead of just being inside of your brush. So there you have a little fuller coverage by adding a concealer. And also if your foundation seems a little too dark or a little too light, if you get a concealer that is a little darker or a little lighter, then you can adjust the tone of your foundation with your concealer. Another little tip, if you guys have oily skin and you feel like your foundation just is not lasting throughout the day, you should try a setting powder, a translucent setting powder that helps to set your foundation during the day. I like to use Unique's Behold setting powder. It is translucent, so it is good for any um, skin tone or skin shade. And I just put a light dusting on top of my foundation. And what that does is it is going to set your foundation in place and keep it there so that it does not budge during the day. And because you have oily skin, it is going to help to absorb those oils as well. I'm going to show you a little trick as to why we use setting powder. So setting powder is used to set your makeup in place. So I'm using lipstick right here. And if you take your setting powder and put on top of your makeup, and you're setting your makeup in place, then it's gonna secure your makeup in place so that your makeup is not budging. Your makeup does not move. Whereas if you don't have any setting powder in place, then it budges. That is why we use setting powder, folks. Now if you're still freaking out and you're not quite sure where to go or how to found that right foundation for you, just comment below girl because i will color match you with my favorite foundation that i have loved and i'll help you find the right match for you there is something out there for everybody and i promise you with these techniques you will find the right match for you it's just a matter of understanding your skin and how it reacts to different things so given these techniques let me know if you found what you were looking for and if this was helpful don't forget to subscribe because i post videos every week and i hope you enjoyed this one and i'll catch you next time bye